I'm Ashton Addison from BlockWest Capital for Investment Pitch Media, and today on the Crypto Coin Show, we have John Reynolds, the Product Manager of Identity and Zero Knowledge at Alio. John, welcome to the show, and thank you for taking the time. Thank you so much for having me. Super excited to be here today. Um, yeah, you know, I'm I'm uh, excited to talk some about zero knowledge, uh, some about the identity things that we're working on at Alio. Uh, and then, you know, maybe we can dive into some conversations about uh, ZPrize as well, which is another initiative that we're supporting in the in the ZK space. Very cool. Excited to dive into that. And I think identity has been a hot topic recently, um, especially with, you know, the talk of uh, digital identities um, from the government side and the launch of this world coin and other identities moving onto the blockchain. Uh, I think it's really important for people to understand more about their own personal identity um, and as they would with crypto assets, owning their own crypto and in their own assets, owning their own identity as well and making sure that they have control of it. Um, so let's jump into everything uh, with Alio. But first, I, I just want to hear a little bit about yourself uh, and your story in in blockchain, identity, ZK, leading up to you being involved with Alio. Yeah, definitely. So um, I actually graduated from the Air Force Academy, uh, where I studied computer science and philosophy, which was focused on cyber warfare ethics. Uh, I was commissioned as a cyber warfare officer in the Air Force, and I spent my time yeah, in service focused on correlating satellite data for defense systems and strategic systems uh, for the military. So it was a super exciting um, job and role, really enjoyed serving. After that, I joined a private sector startup that was helping to make mortgage applications and banking applications more efficient. Mm -hmm. I helped them develop some of the identity KYC AML solutions uh, for some of their strategic partners. And then uh, fortunately, because of my background in the military, I was uh, privileged to cross paths with Alex, the CEO of Alio, and he's actually a, a West Point graduate. So um, we had, you know, some common grounds to talk about. And I had already kind of started to explore some of the blockchain and crypto space. I had received my master's in software engineering while I was in the military. Uh, and so it seemed like a really great chance uh, to push forward kind of that effort. And um, I you know, took the uh, privilege to accept the product manager role at, at Alia with, with Alex. Wow, very cool. And, you know, military cyber warfare, especially when it comes to cryptography and digital assets, uh, global assets, I feel like it's going to be uh, an ever more important topic. And the more that you know about it, uh, the more poised you are to, you know, create great solutions in identity, ZK and privacy solutions in the Web3. So I'm excited to dive into uh, your knowledge there. and. So let's just, from a high level, for those people who aren't familiar with Alio uh, and what they do, can you just talk about what is Alio and then we'll dive into the specifics of each category? Yeah, absolutely. So I think, you know, maybe just to start with, we've seen a really meaningful evolution of digital money. Um, looking at Bitcoin and some of the key insights from Bitcoin, which were really crypto economic, proving that we could build this system um, of incentives that allowed uh, you know, transactions to operate trustlessly and permissionlessly. And one thing that was lacking, though, was this programmability. And so Ethereum took it a step further by uh, trying to introduce a computer to the blockchain, the virtual machine. Um, but there was still this issue with privacy, right? Both Bitcoin and Ethereum uh, are public, transparent blockchain. So the transactions and information held on them can be seen and viewed and um, read by anyone. And so as a result of this, Alio is trying to fill that void by providing a blockchain leveraging zero knowledge cryptography that allows users to have privacy and still leverage the benefits of the blockchain or, or, or the ledger. And so uh, that's really the main focus for leveraging zero knowledge cryptography for both uh, privacy and scalability benefits uh, when, it, when it comes to Alio. Hmm. Very cool. And it's not something that can be done overnight. You know, it's a, it's a huge project, I'm, I'm sure. Um, how long has the team been working on this so far? So Alio is actually based on um, a research paper from 20, uh, 2018. And it's called Zexy Zero Knowledge Execution. Uh, and some of the authors of that paper are also founders of Alio. 
Uh, and this this is what defined um, the system that Alio is commercializing, essentially. So mm -hmm. it, it has this structure that moves the execution of programs off chain and produces a zero knowledge proof, which is sent to a validator who verifies the proof and then updates the state. And so you're able to benefit from scalability aspects of zero knowledge proofs here because the execution layer is moved off chain. So you have unlimited runtime. Um, and in addition, you have these benefits of privacy because everything on chain is private by default and we're proving things through zero knowledge as opposed to leaving the contents public and on chain and viewable. Mm -hmm. And is this, does this benefit every type of decentralized application or is it specifically useful for, you know, DeFi and the finance applications or, um, you know, what is sort of the, the, the target audience for the applications that are going to be run on Alio? Yeah, so I think right now we've seen zero knowledge cryptography leveraged in the blockchain space for things like layer two solutions, bundling several transactions into a single proof to increase the amount of transactions that can occur on chain. Um, we've also seen this in things like private transactions with Zcash, sending money to and from one another in a private capacity. Um, and so Alio is, again, kind of taking, you know, both of these directions and, and bringing them together from a programmability standpoint. But yes, I would say generally what we're aiming to do long term and the long term goal is to allow developers to build private applications. and without having to even really overthink about the zero knowledge cryptography aspect or be impeded by the complexities of it. Mm -hmm, for sure. And I, re I was reading into sort of the, the state of Alio and I saw that it's in the test net right now, but you are able to build things on it, is that correct? Yeah, so right now we are in our uh, third testnet phase and we have recently provided uh, developers the ability to deploy and execute applications on chain. So right now you can leverage our SDK and you can go and build zero knowledge applications and you can execute them and see this process of the proof generation um, being sent to validators and then being verified and updating the state on chain as well. Mm -hmm. Okay. And if there are Ethereum developers or even developers that are in Web2, how easy is it for them to start testing and using things on Alio? Yeah, I, I guess one of the great things um, about Alio is we actually provide a DSL, a domain-specific language. So we have Leo, which allows uh, developers to essentially build zero-knowledge applications in a language very similar to JavaScript. Mm -hmm. uh, we also have Alio Instructions, which is a lower-level language, and this is what Leo compiles down to. Mm -hmm. And AVM Instructions is similar to Rust, and so you know we've seen this evolution where uh, Python, you know, relates to AI development, and we're seeing something similar where Rust kind of has that similar connection to cryptography. And so that's the uh, lower level language that Leo compiles down to. And for those who are familiar with Rust, they can start coding and developing uh, immediately and, uh, you know, deploying their programs on chain. Wow, very cool. Uh, and what do you think, what are, what are the steps that Alio needs to do to get to the next part of the, the mainnet launch and like full production? Yeah, I think honestly, right now, um, you know, we're very, very close to final stages. We're aiming to launch mainnet by the end of the year. The uh, developers and engineers right now who are focused on the protocol are finalizing some of the last touches before we go through a series of audits. and. Um, so we're, we're right there on the cusp, just doing the final things to make sure everything is correct in place, functioning as expected, and we've done the due diligence on our side as well. Um, but yeah, we're aiming for the end of the year and, and super excited to see uh, some of the first zero knowledge applications run on chain when that happens. Mm -hmm. That's very cool. And are you able to plug in other, uh, you say you're doing a transaction on a different blockchain, whether it's Ethereum or an EVM compatible chain or other blockchains, um, or is it only transactions that are sort of on Alio directly that can benefit from the privacy yeah. functionality? That's a great question. So ideally, uh, because it is a layer one, you're going to see the most benefits from the execution of those transactions and programs on Alio. Um, but there certainly is the opportunity to bridge solutions from EVMs 
uh, over to Alio. We could see this in different forms of signature verification um, and doing non-native signature verification potentially in a zero knowledge proof. So this would mean um, proving that maybe you've completed some transaction of some volume on a EVM chain um, by providing a digital signature um, and you know a message a message that relays whatever that transaction may have been that was completed. Mm -hmm. And this can be done in a zero knowledge circuit and then proven um, through the generation of a proof. Okay. And what is the the stance on you know uh, like I see in your title it has to do with identity and um, the, all, blockchains have different stances on identity in the blockchain uh, and how much or how little is needed. Um, what is there is there a stance uh, that Alio is taking with you know building out an identity system in the protocol or enforcing identity for certain applications uh, depending if it's financial or non financial. Yeah, I think our main focus from an identity perspective as the product manager who's focusing in that specific arm at Alio is to provide users with the ability to leverage this form of cryptography to prevent themselves from being forced to overshare. So right now we have uh, a set of you know, rampant Web2 solutions for authentication and verification of individuals that fail to address and consider the user in a lot of different ways mm -hmm. uh, in the experience and in the way they're managing the data. And now we've seen the advancement of this form of cryptography that provides us and enables us to protect that information while still giving these cryptographic guarantees that maybe these centralized parties or authentication systems need. So it creates this paradigm where we can really enforce compliance without having to force individuals to overshare and risking their data being breached or um, identity theft or fraud um, you know, being pursued against them. And so yeah, our, our main focus is supporting um, a development kit around identity that allows people to prove different attributes about themselves in zero knowledge. And they can then take that proof and provide it to a verifying party or platform that will be able to have cryptographic guarantees against whatever access criteria they may have defined without having to risk, you know, the exposure of someone's personal information. And, and this is a two-folded uh, or like a two-sided benefit because a lot of providers right now and platforms with, you know, this change in these different regulatory compliance laws are managing, you know, data in a secure way that's very expensive. Mm -hmm. And it puts them also at potential risk of, you know, breaking the law or, or running into some of these regulatory risks. Mm -hmm. And so the nice thing here is, you know, we can help these providers avoid having to spend the money on managing and securing this data without having to take away these cryptographic guarantees that allow them to trust the users that are interacting with their systems. Mm. Very cool. I love it. Um, and do you think with regards to zero knowledge uh, and zero knowledge proof in applications, um, Alio seems to be sort of on the forefront of developing something where that's this is a status quo or that's something that should be developed into all of the applications. I feel like there's a few other solutions that, that see the same, but a lot of these major blockchains, they don't have, they're pretty transparent. They don't have too much privacy uh, centricism in, into the blockchain. Do you think that they will take solutions like Alio and, and make that a part of, you know, should that be a part of these major blockchains, Ethereum, Solana, and these other ones that aren't really as privacy focused? Yeah, I, I think, you know, when it comes to layer one blockchains, it's, it's not a zero sum game. There's certainly things that the transparency and public nature of Ethereum um, support and provide benefits for. Um, and then there's other applications and, you know, you can even think of this from a gaming perspective. There's mm -hmm. games that require asymmetric interaction and this can't be supported in a transparent nature, right? Mm -hmm. And so it's, it's less, I think, about one, you know, taking over the other or one replacing the other, but more of us recognizing this technology exists out there and for particular applications, we wanna maybe leverage it in a specific way um, to benefit the use case or benefit the experience for the user. Mm -hmm. Awesome. And <clears throat> I'm curious on if there's a cryptographic token or will there be when, when the mainnet launches um, that is 
used for, you know, obviously, to do private transactions, but also to interact with the applications and things like that. And if you can say anything about the, if there is a token. Yeah, so I, I know that uh, Alio is going to be run on the premise of um, these Alio credits. So Alio credits are what will fuel um, the production of zero knowledge proofs on the network. Um, and these will also be what fuel the fees that are sent to validators. So the entities that are are verifying these proofs um, and adding or updating state. So these credits will be, um, I guess, what you could assume as the token to fuel these uh, these programs and the generation of zero knowledge proofs in cryptography on the network. Very cool. And if people want to follow along with the updates or learn more about the testnet right now, follow along with the updates towards the mainnet launch, what is the best way for people to stay in touch with Alio? Yeah, please follow us on Twitter. Um, we also have a Discord, which is, uh, you know, we're very active on. We have uh, community leaders who spend a lot of time making sure that they're providing educational opportunities as well as events for the community members to be involved in. Mm -hmm. And if you want to, you know, do a deep dive into some of the tokenomics and what to expect at Mainnet Launch, we also have the Alio blog which has uh, blog posts from our CEO, the CTO, and some of the founders that explains exactly what to expect as we start to approach the mainnet launch here mm -hmm. at the end of the year. Very cool. I appreciate all your insights, John, and I'm looking forward to following along with Alio. I will leave those links in the description box for the viewers to follow along as well. And all the best moving forward towards the mainnet, and let's definitely follow up before then. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you so much for the opportunity to, to chat today. And, and I'm excited to uh, keep pushing Alia forward. And for those who are listening, please give us a follow and can't wait to see what's next.